Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be discussing about how you are supposed to find inverses by elementary row operations. So I'll tell you in detail what elementary row operations are. So suppose if we have a three cross three matrix, this is row one, row two, row three. So a one one, a one two, a one three, a two one, a two two, a two three, a three one. A three two, A three three. So first row, second row, third row. And now looking at some of the row operations that can be used. First is interchanging any two rows. So you can use a row operation like this, in which case this would be interchanged with this. Okay. Second is multiplying each element of a row by any scalar. So R three can go to alpha times R three. It won't impact the inverse, right? This is allowed. Now, adding to each element of the ith row, alpha times the corresponding element of the jth row. So basically, R i is being transformed to R i plus alpha R j. This is also allowed. But a row operation like R i goes to R i plus alpha. This type of row operations are not allowed. So this is not valid. Okay, now I'll tell you how to find a inverse given a matrix A using row operations. So firstly. Will have a augmented i matrix. So which is so since it is three cross three. So it is one 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 three three four three four three, and this is the augmented part with identity matrix order three. So it is one zero 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 one. Zero, 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 one. Now the idea behind row operations is we'll transform this matrix, this matrix, this matrix A, to identity matrix. So the operations that we are using to make matrix A as identity, we'll use the same operations on the identity matrix as well. And whatever. So ideally, we would get something like I, then some matrix B here, with the operations. So any operations, if you are using on row one, it would be implied for row this row as well. So this B would finally turn out to be the inverse. Okay, I'll show this example. It would be more clear. Now, one important thing is. Okay, so this is one. This is one identity, so we need to make this as zero. The second element, so we'll have R two goes to R two minus R one. So in this case, we'll have one three three one zero zero. Now R two, this minus one minus one zero three minus three zero four minus three one. This would be zero minus one minus one one zero. Similarly, we can use R three goes to R three minus R one. So one minus one zero four minus three one three minus three zero. This would be zero minus one minus one zero one. Now to have an identity matrix, ideally, this should be one. And this should be zero, so we'll interchange these two rows. So we have R two interchanges with R three. So these two rows would also change. So we have one zero zero three three one zero zero. Now these two are changing. So one zero zero one. This would be minus one only. Zero one one zero. Now, 
we need to make this as zero and this as zero. So firstly, r one goes to r one minus three r three. So we have one zero zero. This would be three only one zero. This becomes zero zero one. And we have so one minus minus three four minus one minus one. This would become minus three, then zero, then one, zero one zero. Now we need to make this as zero. So r one goes to r one minus three r two. Solving this, this is one zero zero. This would become zero one zero 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 one. So this would become four minus of minus plus three seven. This would be minus three. This would be minus three. Minus one minus one zero one one zero. So this is the inverse of e that we have got. And one more thing. So if we are talking of, we can use either. Column operations or row operations that will give you the same results, but so sol in solving a matrix or finding the inverse, you cannot use row operation in the first for one element and column operation for the other element. So you are either supposed to use row operation throughout or column operation throughout. So you cannot use a combination of them in a given question. So th this you must be very clear with. Okay, so this is how we find an inverse, and I'll tell you how we are supposed to approach. So given this matrix, try to make these things starting with the starting with this, go in this direction, make them identity, then move to the diagonal, then this. And then in this direction, and then in this direction. So this is how you are supposed to. So you are supposed to make this one, then zero, zero, then one, then zero, then one, zero, zero, and then zero. So this is how we get the inverse of a three cross three matrix. Now suppose if I ask you to find the inverse of a four cross four matrix using row operations, because Elementary row operations because if you find it with the help of determinants, it would take a lot of your time because you need to have a lot of three cross three determinants. So I'll tell you in which direction you are supposed to move. Note this down very carefully. First, make this one, then move in this direction. Make all of them zero. Then make this one, then all of them zero. Then this one. Then zero, then one, then this zero, and then you can go in this direction or this direction. Both would work. Okay, now writing down the augmented matrix. So A augmented I. This can be written as one zero two two zero two one zero. Zero one zero one one two one four. So this augmented with the identity matrix of order four cross four. So we have one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one. Now this is already one. This is zero. Now R three goes to R three minus two R one. Similarly, R four goes to R four minus two R one. I am doing these two operations simultaneously. But since if you have started just recently only, you can do one operation at a time. So the first row would be same only one zero zero one. Only the first row would be same here as well, zero zero. Now second would also be same, one two, zero one zero zero. 
Now coming to the third, so this would become zero. So one minus zero, this would become one only. Zero minus zero, zero. One minus two, minus one. This would become minus two, zero, one, zero. Now coming to the fourth, this becomes zero, zero, one, four minus two, two. This is minus two, zero, zero, one. Now we need to make this as one. So R two goes to half R two. So this would become one zero 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 one augmented one zero 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 and one half one zero half zero zero one zero zero now all the other elements will remain same only r2 is changing 0 0 1 0 0 1 now in this case we need to make this as 0 so r3 goes to r3 minus r2 okay one more thing make this one and then use this to make all other things as zero now make this one then use this r2 to make all other things as zero then this as one then using this make other things as zero and then one okay now what we have is r3 goes to r3 minus r2 so one zero 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 one augmented matrix width this is one half one so one minus one zero minus half minus two zero one two this would be one zero 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 half zero zero so minus two this would be minus two only this would be minus half one zero minus two zero zero one now we need to make this as one so r3 goes to minus two R three. So what we have is one zero 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 one zero 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 one half one augmented and this minus half into this would be one minus two into minus two four one two and the corresponding changes would be zero half zero zero so this would be four one minus two zero minus two zero zero one now we'll make this as zero so r4 goes to r4 minus r3 this would become one zero 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 one zero 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 half one zero one one four so two minus four this would become minus two so this would be one zero 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 half zero zero four one minus two zero this would be minus six minus one two one okay now we'll make this as one so r4 goes to minus half r4 so we have okay it has so in this case r4 goes to minus half r4 so you will see the last term would become 1 in this case so this would become 1 so we have 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 half 1 0 1 1 4 1 similarly changes would be made Zero half zero zero four one 
minus two is zero this would become three this would become half this would become minus one and this would become minus half now we need to make this as zero so r3 goes to r3 minus 4 r4 so using this make all these elements as zero so r3 goes to r3 minus 4 r4 so we have 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 half 1 0 1 1 0 1 so this would be 1 0 0 0 then 0 half 0 0 r3 goes to r3 minus 4 so 4 minus 12 minus 8 first thing this would remain same okay so 1 minus 4 into half this is minus 1 so minus 2 plus 4 this is 2 so 0 plus 2 2 now we can use the operation r1 goes to r1 minus r4 making this as 0 similarly r2 goes to r2 minus r4 making this as 0 as well so we have 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 half 1 0 this would be 0 0 0 1 augmented matrix so it is 1 minus 3 minus 2 0 minus half minus half 0 minus minus 1 1 and then half similarly for r2 it would be minus 3 this becomes 0 1 half this would remain same only minus 8 minus 1 2 2 3 half minus 1 minus half now we just need to make this as 0 so r2 goes to r2 minus half r3 so this becomes 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 and 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 so this would be an augmented matrix and Similarly, the operations would be so the first would remain same half this would be minus 8 minus 1 2 2 3 half minus 1 minus half and the second row would become minus 3 plus 4 so this would be 1 0 this would be half 1 minus half into 2 this would be 0 and half minus half into 2 this would be minus half so this so this is i and this is b a augmented i can be transformed into this so ideally b becomes the inverse of a so you can just check this i have chosen some random number in the a matrix and you can just multiply this with a to check whether the final solution is correct or not so this was the b matrix this was the inverse and we'll do more question on this because it is expected this would help you in this would help you in chapter 14 as well so it is expected you should know how to find inverse using row operations and row operations would be most ideal since it will save a lot of time okay so with this we are left with Kramer's rule only which is 13.8 and homogeneous system of equations and once we are done with it we'll do practice questions of chapter 13 and then we'll move to chapter 14 okay thank you